in the province of Nyanza in the west of Kenya, beside the luxuriant fish-rich Lake Victoria lies the city of Kisumu. Christianity was brought to the country from Europe in the 1400s and today there are over 31 million believers divided among thousands of different Christian churches and assemblies. In the suburb of near Masaria, outside Kisumu, I meet Robert Odeo, who for many years has belonged to the Brunstad Christian Church, and wonder how he can know that he has found the right assembly among all the thousands. People are busy preaching, going around, trying to attract many people, but uh, here is discipleship, to be a disciple that you forsake everything and you com commit completely to Christ. In Kenya, it is now the school holiday, and the Brunstad Christian Church Conference takes place just outside Robert's house. Around 200 people come together in a campus which is used for the rest of the year as a school. In the day, soup is served in the dining hall. But the flock are also hungry for spiritual food. Evening falls, and in what is otherwise dry, low-lying land, rain pours down in torrents. After a short interruption, the meeting continues, despite thunder and untimely cuts in electricity. And for bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable for all things. So this is the conference center at near Masaria outside Kisumu in Western Kenya. And we just had the first meeting of the conference where we've heard really powerful words about standing before God's face and not before the face of men. And many hearts have been moved. We heard many friends from here testify that they really want to give themselves heartily to stand before God's face and be finished with all the works of the flesh. I was in last time living in a life of pleasing men, not pleasing my God. So up to now, I have changed it so that I pray God to enable me to live in his face according to his will. As attendants, as human beings, we tend to please other people, please our wives, please our children and so on. But having a godly fear that we should live in the face of God, that we are, it's him to, we are going to deal with, not with the human beings, that want to be praised and so on, to be honoured and so on and so forth. And that's really, that's really powerfully spoken in my own life. The simple and powerful message concerning living before God's face has clearly made an impression on the little flock and given them hope and a working area in the days ahead.